Uh, our main man is checking in. He's fired up today. Now, Zim, I don't know if you noticed or not. You asked me to go into savage mode last week. You probably can't <laughs> tell because it's only been two-day growth here. But I have not shaved since uh, since you told me I had to go ahead and uh, and start letting it go a little bit. And do you see what happened? <laughs> Did you see what happened? Yeah, I, I, I get more disturbed every time I look in the mirror. That's what happened. But a certain team pulled off a victory thanks to you. Everybody give it up for Tom Brenneman. Yeah, well, let's go, Tom. Let's go, Tom. Let's go, Tom. Let's go, Tom. Zim, my son says to me this morning, who you know my son, right? He says to me this morning, you've known him for years. Um, he says to me this morning, he says, Dad, uh, I heard you bring up with Zim about uh, getting some of his merch. And so I got to place an order. H how would I place an order or anybody else place an order if they want to get some of your merchandise? I'm serious about this for a second. How would they do that? How will I do that? Uh, well, you just go to ZimHooday.com, and then you'll see it. It'll say Burrow Baby Shop. Uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff on there. I got a nice design where it's like uh, – uh, like a rock band, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. You got to go check it out. It's a bunch of cool stuff on there. Well, he said like something it. about some T-shirt with the Amigos. I I'm assuming that's a wide receiving core. Is that who that is? <laughs> so we've nicknamed the Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and uh, Tyler Boyd, the Amigos, like the rap group, the Amigos, who are highly successful, and they're a trio. Um, so we kind of gave them that nickname. So we got some of that stuff on there, too. My partner, Ace, though, has all the the Trace Amigo shirts. I don't know if you saw this, but Joe Burrow wore a shirt. And we firmly believe that that's the reason why we took out the Chiefs in the Week 17 victory. He wore that game, pre, he wore that shirt pregame. Then afterwards, he celebrates with the cigar. He's got the shirt on, and nice. the rest is history. And you're talking, Big, about your, I mean, you're talking about your guy, Ace Boogie. Is that the guy we're talking about? Yeah, Ace Boogie. That's my guy. That's your guy. All right, so uh, tell me, uh, Zim, about your initial thoughts of the game. You were there, you know, wa watching the thing on the tube and, and dialed into every single second. Uh, here we are for the first time all year talking on a Monday about a win. What were your thoughts about the Bengalis? I thought they came out exactly like they should have, you know, uh, imposing their will, being assertive, you know, all the different things. If we're going to go down swinging, like I told you before the game, it's like you got to go down with your big dogs. You got to go down with Joe Burrow, uh, throwing it to Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd early and often. I like the shots, even though it didn't work. The flea flicker one of Jamar Chase, it got the cornerbacks thinking. We want the guys on the second on the opposition in the secondary. We want them thinking. And I think from that point on, now they're like, well, let's back up just a little bit. And then then when they did come to blitz, then what happens? Joe Burrow hits Tyler Boyd, boom, hit kicks off a big play, a uh, big 50 yard game. So all these different things that we want the Bengals to do, I feel like they implemented it for the first half of the football. The second half of the football, um, I think this is the point where really good teams impose their will and run the football. The one thing that I think that I'm really, really watching for them is how efficiently can they run the football? Because yes, P. Ryan closed it out, but in the third quarter, there was a big period where they weren't running the ball successfully. And that gave Jets just a little bit of opportunity. You do that against a high flying team or something like that. That's a recipe to get, you know, the team to come back. So I, I do I do worry about the run efficiency. And my other one that I'm a little concerned about too is clearly uh, the loss of Clark Harris is a lot bigger than what we thought. I think and you're I right. And I just think McPherson is so important to this team. Like, you know, the, the Ravens wouldn't be the Ravens without Justin Tucker. You know how many like fourth down victories? I think Lamar's got six walk off Justin Tucker ones like on the strength of their kicker. So people, I'm, I'm really watching that. The DJ Reader injury, I'm really watching that because I feel like he's the Joe Burrow of the defense. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, they came out and posed their will, did what good teams do, jump on a, a, a team that's not as good as you, and do what you got to do to win the game. Okay, now I, I want to circle back on a couple of these topics because I, th I think, as always, you have, even though you're a hardcore, passionate fan, you have very astute observations. I know you know Joe Burrow, and I'm never going to ask you to um, – break the confidence of your relationship with him. I, I really mean that. But I got to tell you, um, 
I love Joe Mixon. Before you joined the program here uh, you know, a few minutes ago, and, and I've said all along, I think he's one of the top four or five backs in the NFL, maybe better than that. To me, Zim, something looks off with him. Is he all right? It's funny you say that. I, I talked to him last night. I don't think he would mind me saying that. We had a good conversation. So he was asking me some things. And I, I think ultimately – he just has to take advantage of some opportunities that are in front of him when teams show him like lighter boxes. I think a lot of different times he's waiting for uh, blocks to develop. So a lot of people at home are sitting there saying, hit the hole, Joe, like, you know. But if, you're, if your scheme on a, uh, you know, like there's zone blocking variations, then there's also pin and pull variations too. And some of them require wide receivers to block, which I don't agree with. So Joe Mixon, just to put it in perspective, and I'm not creating an excuse, He's doing a lot of these runs out of 11 personnel, which is three wide receivers, and you're going to have wide receivers at the block. And in the last two games, I've seen the wide receivers just get pushed to the side, mm -hmm. right? And, and the difference is P. Ryan comes in later on, that's 13 personnel, and you're in jumbo packages. And I, and everybody's like, oh, well, I mean, look, P. Ryan's right. But those are two different situations, two different things. I think Joe Mixon will be fine. He told I talked to him. He told me he he feels good. So I don't I don't think that he's – you know, it's, it's nothing serious. I know he'll be there Thursday night. So that's the one thing I can say is like, okay. I don't think All that right. he's seriously injured or anything. I just think the plays that are given to him, I'm not, I don't really buy into a lot of the blocking schemes on it because it's asking a lot of the wide receivers. And a lot of these teams are cheating really heavy with their linebackers and their safeties when they see run. And so it's just attacking them. Like some of those plays are negative because he can't do anything. Your thoughts of the offensive line? I mean, obviously, they don't give up, you know, six, seven sacks like they did in each of the first two games of the year. Burrow able to maneuver in and out of pocket a little bit more than he had the first two weeks. You mentioned the run game. Uh, once they went to those jumbo packages, they just ran it down their throat with P. Ryan late. What were your thoughts? Any individual performances on that line you liked more so than maybe just the line itself? I thought Volson and Lyle looked really good. I thought Kappa probably, that was one of his, you know, I, I don't like to place too much judgment until I see like the all 22, which is available to us like in 24 hours from now. But uh, I just thought that Volson, man, he had a couple pancakes in there. He looked really good. And, and, and ultimately, I'm a, I, I told everybody this. You don't have to play TJ Watt and Micah Parsons every week. Everybody really needs to put that into perspective too. It's like, you're not going to see the most elite pass rushers in the world every single week. And I just think that for the first time, you didn't see them, and, and they looked a lot better. Like, that's just how it's going to be sometimes because they don't have an elite offensive line. The other point you make, and I think it's extremely valid, uh, is this whole McPherson thing. Because I, I really believe you, you're spot on about Tucker. Um, he is a huge reason for the Ravens' success and really, I mean success in the history of the franchise. He has yes. been one of the best players in the history of the Baltimore Ravens franchise. Kicker, punter, yep. I don't care what. He, he, he has been, a, been great at his job for a long, long time. Same with the kid in Pittsburgh. He's a big yeah, reason Bob why all their success for a long, long time, especially against the Bengals. But I yes. still believe McPherson's the best kicker in the league. Um, but, you know, <laughs> we didn't see, you know, like that one that, that, that looked like, you know, uh, me trying to hit a, 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 a tee shot uh, in golf. They just a straight duck hook left. Uh, we didn't see that stuff last year. We've seen it twice already this year. You really think right. the snapper's that big of a deal? I think, I think so. I think it looks different. I think, you know, mentally the way that he's processing the kicks, I just, I just think that he's used to the timing of the ball hitting the ground at a certain point. And if there's any bit of stutter or anything like that, that's how you get a shank. And the timing of it is not the exact same. Like the one thing that we underestimated as Bengals fans is a long snapper, which is crazy. But Clark is so consistent with the snap that I just think that like, you know, McPherson got so used to the way that it looks. A lot of people say, well, the laces was in, laces was out. I don't even like, I haven't got a chance to see those camera angles, but I do think that if you're constantly kicking the same exact ball, just like in golf, or you got the same swing, and you're coming to the, you're coming to hit your driver out the, out the, out the bag. 
it's about consistently hitting it the same exact way so that it gives you the same exact results every single time. And it's no, it's no secret that it doesn't look the exact same when the ball's getting snapped to him. And I think is like even the 43 yarder, that barely kind of went in. Like that was close. Yeah, and that's that's not McPherson, like. All right, Jim. You know, we found out last week. I'm not going to say you're a mountain man. I wouldn't go that far <laughs> because you know, I mean, you're not living in the mountains in Baltimore, but you are living in the woods in Baltimore. So, are, are you the kind of guy that that now is the weather? At least here in Cincinnati, it is. You know, the weather now our, our highs are you know right at 70 or maybe the high 60s. We're still getting lots of sunshine. Clearly, you got a beautiful day there behind you today. Will you be getting out and, and chopping wood and things like that in preparation of the winter and maybe Thursday night watching the Bengals game and having a fire going? Is that your kind of thing? <laughs> chopping wood, though? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no? Hey, that Tom, this guy here, man. Like, no, I won't be doing that. I'm actually getting prepared, believe it or not, to come to Cincinnati. I'm coming there. I'm, I got to do a lot of stuff today. Uh, get on a plane on Wednesday afternoon, and I'm headed there. So I, I won't have enough time to chop down any trees this week. We're getting well, but I'm bit. saying in general, though, are you the kind of guy <laughs> that that maybe not this week? It's a bad week for you, but are you the mm. kind of guy? And you were talking about getting, you know, your son out there and and right. riding around and what, what did you call that thing? An ATV? Four what is wheeler. that? Yeah, yeah, four yeah, wheel. Yeah. Okay, we, so you got him running around. On, out so there. hold on, if you if you come here, are you going to get on the four wheeler? Oh, you, you better really believe it. To... No problem. I'm an outdoorsy right. kind of guy. I may not look okay. like it, but Zim, I am. But I want to know if you are. are you, so you're not going to be chopping any wood to get ready for the winter. That's not your thing, right? No, I'm not chopping any wood. <laughs> I'm relying. I'm relying on a central heating air conditioning unit here in the <laughs> house right, to right. pump out enough heat to keep my family warm this winter. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Like I have a gas stove. We're not chopping in, but you know what? That would be a real good assignment. That I get like a fire pit or something out there. That would be really cool, though. And, are you we, are, are you the that. kind of guy that could 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 build a fire pit? I could help. <laughs> I could help. I, I couldn't build it by, on my own. So you okay, know, all right. I, I because I'm always I know, amazed I by guys. those guys. But you being a woodsy kind of guy, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, then not, what's not one, since, you, since you've told me you're 0 for 2 before I let you go, what is one woodsy sort of thing Zim Hooday is going to do, say like in the next 7 to 10 days? One woodsy kind of thing. Me and my son go outside and there's a lot of deer that uh, eat up plants and stuff. So I have to do a roundabout around the whole area spraying like the stinkiest stuff you've ever smelled in your life. But it keeps the deer from coming over and drinking water out of the pond and eating all the plants. So I'll be spraying that stuff, removing weeds throughout, trying to spray stuff on the driveway, make sure no weeds okay. dry. Like regular, regular. You know, I told you this last week. I'm not, I'm not all the way there now. Another thing that I do too is um, uh, the guy that owned the house before me. He did used to hunt deers, which I don't do. I'm not shooting deers for no reason. Like I, right. I don't agree with that. I'm but with uh, he does have the, he does have these stoops and stuff. And we I go out there sometimes and I sit out there. Like believe it or not, so there there are stoops inside, like on the trees. And sometimes I sit out there and I and I have a. I have a book I'm reading. I'm, I've only got to like the third or fourth chapter because my day's been really, really busy. But sometimes I go out there and sit and read. What are you reading, if you don't mind me asking? I can't think of the name of it. I don't want to lead a screen, but it, it's a really good book. I'm going to text it to you later, though. It's okay. really good. All right. I want to know. I, got I want to know. I got, well, two, I got two really good books. Next time I come on here, I'm going to give everybody two really good reads, though, Like especially like if you want to get your mind away from the toxic, the toxic level of whatever on social media. It's right. good to read something. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Zim, you're my kind of guy. I mean, you're a reader. You're a thinker. You're a, you're a sports fan. You've got, the, you've got the savage mode you're already into getting ready for Thursday night. Um, you know, you, uh, you, you're a woodsy kind of guy. You're my kind of guy, Zim. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. You're my kind of. You're my kind of guy, Tom. I, we're gonna keep on rocking all the way this whole year. We got it. You the man. We got you the man. We got a rhythm going. We got we the do. scrub we, going. We we got a good rhythm. We do. And I'm we not go. gonna shave. I'm not gonna shave. You had a question, Casey? Yeah, real quick for I, I want to know where he's going. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going uh, when you go to the game? Where are you gonna be before the game? Where are you hanging out? 
Wednesday night, I'm gonna do. I'm doing something actually with Gold Star, I believe. So I'm gonna stop by Gold Star and do a quick little, uh, not a meet and greet, but kind of like eat a couple burgers, uh, hand out some stuff to some people. Wednesday night, I'm doing something with my boy. Uh, well, I gotta, I gotta go check with Seho, but we're supposed to be doing something at Hard Rock Cafe. I'm not sure if that's going. If it's not, I'm still going to be at the casino at the roulette table. Got to get a quick little bet in there. Then after that, <laughs> on Thursday Thursday afternoon, I will be at the tailgate. So I'm going to be at my boy Bengals Gym's tailgate. So if you are listening to this, check me out at the tailgate. We'll be there. And then we get ready for all white. White tiger it out. Thursday night, white helmets. We want to go all white for all the fans there. I'm going to be tweeting that all week. We need to have a good show and go all white. We want to create a college atmosphere Thursday night. Zim, you have that beautiful complexion. You're not going to be painting yourself up white, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I, no, okay. I, will, I just want to make sure you're not doing that because you're a handsome man. You don't want to do that. Thank you very much, Tom. You're a handsome you're welcome. fellow. You're too. the man. I'm not camp. Are you getting paid by Gold Star? Uh, yes and no not yeah tickets stuff like that i don't want i don't want wow. I, I, we we love the gold star let's just say that we uh, love I, I do too i do too i'm with you that's it's the right choice right. jim you're the man we love you buddy you have a great day god bless you we'll see you now at the end of the week all right we'll see you down here thursday night see you man appreciate all you right, buddy that's a man that is the man